Mayan seems like one of those guys where if it looks like it's going to be a three yard run, it's a five yard run, or a five yard run. He just seems like he's so tough to tackle. What's well, maybe you got to get, get his big mind on the route. I mean, the guy's <laughs> only three feet tall, so you don't have a lot of certain security to hit, right? Um, no, in all sincerity, you know, Mayan, 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 it may, the way he gets his charge different than the way that Evan or even Trey are going to get there. So they got enough speed to get around him. Mayan's got to kind of run through. But um, he's hard to get on the ground. And I think when you watch the setting, running backs in the setting where they're not tackling, where it's tag off and those things you come through and come watch the practice, and it's like, well, you know, you got to tag them off. Well, yeah, but you still got to get him on the ground. And he's got to just make sure he's running vertically and not kick those side to side. He's got to go downhill. And when he gets a chance to get his pants on downhill, he's got to do that. We saw that in the spring game. You guys were thudding up. It was like, oh, it's easy for them to stop Mayan Williams. Once the, you had to go live, it wasn't that easy to stop Mayan Williams. Williams. You get him on the ground. <laughs> right. He's going to bounce off you and drag you. And, uh, but he does have enough lateral quickness to make some moves as well, so I don't want to take that away from him. But um, we have three, I think, we have three really good players, really dynamic players in their own right, that are all different. They can all pose different problems for defenses. They can all present different skill sets for all of us. Have you ever had that in a running back room before? Three different guys with that, those skill sets that sort of... You know, um, I think everybody has their own different things that they do, but the vast, broad scope, probably not. Makes it fun, huh? You can, yes. I'll dial this guy, yes. so I'll dial that guy. Yeah, because they all can do some different things. They all can do a lot of the same things really well, but then they all bring something a little different to the table as well. So much that it, it, it does make it a good situation. Yeah, that's such a part though, is they're all special. I mean, they all right. seem to have not just different, but they have all special skill sets yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh, how do you play that? As, as y'all said, you know, we're just shooting the bull when you're, when you're around during the offseason stuff. Are you continuing throwing ideas? Get over a cigar and bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> Are you continuing throwing ideas up on the board? In the, uh, no, no, we're going to run our bourbon, offense. Though. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to run our offense. In the confines of offense, some guys are better for this, some guys are better suited for that. You know, so this spring we haven't discussed how exactly how we're going to disperse that. But um, we are going to run a rerun. So all of you have got to be adept at this, because this is what we're doing. Um, now, if all of a sudden say, hey, we want to go do this, maybe we want to get one a little bit more, okay, maybe that's more, hey, that's, that's more. Environment than running you know, tight zone. Not that they can't run tight zone. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't want to be right. predictable. Exactly. Yeah. Not that Mayan can't run around on the corner, but who's more effective? I'm not trying to get you to catch yourself in the back, but Trevor Anderson seems to be this special talent. You know, no more active. Yet you were being the drum for Mayan Williams, and he's turned out to be what you thought he was going to be. Evan Pryor opted to come, even though Trevor Anderson got you know what I mean. The, do you feel like you, I don't know, is it hard to put that kind of room together where, number one, you're you're counting on the guys, a lot of people maybe during the recruiting thing weren't, were saying wasn't as special as this guy. You understand what I'm asking you, Tom? I mean. If you're asking me to pat myself on the back, no. No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, but you know what I'm saying. You I mean, know, I, first of all. I think Mayan in Rose Bowl gave us something you really needed at exactly the right time. Yeah. And, 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 and everyone's got opinions, right? Yeah. Um, who you should take, how you should do this. And I get it. Um, but everyone doesn't study like we study you. So we're going to do what we feel necessary to do with our football program, our offense, the next day. I'm going to do what I feel is necessary to do in my own room, and, and regardless of what everyone else is saying, right? and, and everyone's opinions. Um, as far as putting the room together, those guys, those guys are really close. And they're, they're freakishly close. Man. Guys, when they, when they leave this building, they're always together. And they do stuff together all the time. And I think it's just a testament to the selflessness that they all have, the understanding that they need one another, and they champion each other's efforts. When you watch another guy score a touchdown, who's generally the first ones to go through red zone? So two guys. And, and, and so, um, I just think because it's a mature group, 
and I think we've, we've, for the most part, we've been able to to cultivate that type of culture and all that. They back. And I don't know if we've ever had a room this close, but, but we've always had guys that have kind of championed each other like, to help one another out. You know, when Trey and, 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 and Evan came in together, they were roommates. And they were roommates until they got all their inner ideas and started kind of doing their own thing. But so those guys are real close. And, um, and when they first got here, they leaned on mine a lot because he's the only guy well, from the match with the guys that were here in the prior to them. So, um, you know, I, I like to think we, we built a good room. I think, we, I think we built a strong room. I know it doesn't get talked about as much as the one gentleman mentioned. You know, we, we don't get talked about a lot, and that's fine. We don't need to be. We know what we, we know what we have and what we're doing. We have people talk about it a lot. Um, but I, I think we've. Um, I think we've developed a really good room, and in my personal opinion, I'm biased, I'm going to throw that out there now. Um, I think that from top to bottom, our room is as strong as anybody's in the country. You played at 